We are going to talk about Tom Brady, the Super Bowl, Deshaun Watson, and James Harden, and whatever comes through my mind. But but right now, I just want to let's talk about a uh, about a uh, Deshaun Watson and James Harden first. James Harden was an amazing player for the Rockets, and I'm extremely sad to see him go. Um, we don't really have a superstar anymore, and we're not going anywhere. And as you remember, a few years ago, we were literally uh, a couple minutes away from uh, being in the NBA Finals and taking out the Warriors dynasty earlier, earlier than expected. So we would have ended their dynasty one year early. And as far as Deshaun Watson, he's probably the best quarterback that the Texans have had probably ever. And he wants to leave, and Houston really wants him here, and I'm sad that he might leave. And then I woke up. <laughs> I am totally joking. <laughs> I was just trying to get you guys go for a couple minutes. And really, <laughs> as far as James Harden's concerned, please don't let the door hit you on the way out. Please don't come back. Nobody wants you here in Houston. You don't like Houston. You don't respect the Rockets. You don't like our team. And I'm going to just flip through a few pages while I while I make this video. Oh, this isn't loading. And, uh, you know, basically, I, uh, I have no respect for James Harden. And I know that's very cliche. I have no respect for her. But that is my feelings. And I have to express myself in one way or another. Please don't let the door hit you on the way out. Don't come back. Nobody in Houston will miss you. And the Rockets are becoming a mess of an organization. And so we have to hope for the best. And I grew up a Rockets fan. It's the only team that I knew and loved in the beginning. And then I started becoming a trader and become a Spurs fan over the years because they were a real organization. And I remember being fearful of the Spurs. And then they got their first... Worlds, I'm uh, not World Series, excuse me, NBA Finals. Then they got their second, and when they got their third, they surpassed the Rockets. And I was like, wow, what's going on with this organization? And then players like Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili are complete class. Manu Ginobili, Ginobili is probably the classiest player I have ever seen in the NBA in the last in the last 20 years. I could be wrong about that, but Manu Ginobili, and number two is Tim Duncan. Class personified those two. Uh, if you want to know who else I really like in uh, the NBA, just for giggles, since it's kind of a rant, I, I really like uh, Luka Doncic, M Pete Maravich, um, Larry Bird, and a couple others I just not coming to mind. Oh, and Reggie Miller. I really like those players. Uh, it's kind of another debate, but if I had, if it's NBA Finals Game Seven, one second on the clock then I would really, really like uh, either Reggie Miller or Larry Bird. But Larry Bird, besides being the greatest trash talker of all time, Larry Bird is also... Hang on just a second. Giving you, giving you guys some more more news right here. But, but basically, uh, you know, Larry Bird is just like a... He's a cold-blooded assassin. And what I mean by that is one second on the clock, NBA Finals... With that amount of talent and that kind of just low heart rate, him and Reggie Miller, and I, I'll put Larry Bird first, those are the two two best uh, shooters that you could have with one second on the clock. I met an uh, NBA insider that was on the, on the uh, Rockets. I believe he played for him on, in the 70s, and he said he saw Reggie Miller hit 29... Uh, 25 footers in a row and practice no cameras no nothing going on and I said do you think that Pete Maravich is better than Michael Jordan and 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 the best shooter better than Steph Curry he goes yeah I think so it could definitely be debated so I'm going with Pete Maravich is uh the best shooter of all time he's got the uh LSU uh NCAA record for the most points scored it's like 46 points a game but most of his career was without the three-point line in the NBA. I could go on and on about Pete Maravich, but Pete Maravich may be possibly the best shooter ever. Now let's go to football. Uh, Deshaun Watson, big crybaby. Same thing, I was just joking. Uh, 
please don't let the door hit you on the way out. I know that the Texans, luckily I'm a baseball fan. I don't even care about these teams anymore too much. Uh, I care more about the Rockets, but then the NBA has become a bunch of cry, whiny babies also. So, ergo, I don't really care about NBA anymore. NFL, it's hard to like them too with all that they've been pulling. All the, uh, let's give you some Aaron Rodgers rumors here. Anyway, uh, Deshaun Watson, you wait until you sign the big contract. I believe, because I don't follow NFL, but I think he signed a big contract. Now he's got all the power because he's already got the money in writing. And now he, so he basically wants the money and then he wants to play for the team he wants to, which is called having your cake and eating it too. And so uh, I don't really think that's a very mature way. And I don't really want immature people on the Houston Texans. Once again, I'm not a Texans fan. Or I'm supposed to be, but I'm not a football fan at all. Once Tom Brady leaves the NFL, there's not going to be much good going on. And for all the Tom Brady haters, he has proven that he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. He is the absolute GOAT, win or lose, Deshaun, once again, let me paraphrase before we go to Super Bowl news. Deshaun, please don't let the door hit you on the way out. Goodbye. Don't come back. Nobody in Houston wants you. We know you're a good player, but you're immature. You don't like where you're at. We don't like you. Please leave. Don't come back. Okay? I know it's going to be hard on everybody because the team's going to suck, but whatever. We need mature people. And for it, you know, there might be a silver lining. There might be a silver lining to this because for every loss, it opens up a window. It creates an opportunity. So let's see. Uh, if 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 on the other chance that the Texans are dysfunctional, then what can I do? We're just outsiders. We're just kind of observers analyzing it from an outside perspective without insider information. When I do get insider information, I've had insider information on Pete Maravich, LeBron James, uh, I'm trying to remember else. I've had I've had Pete, uh, I've had insider information on Peyton Manning. A couple of these stories I can't repeat. But let's go to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. Uh, my prediction is, is okay. Tom Brady, ten Super Bowls of experience, up and coming team, and uh, you know good receivers. And I, I can't really analyze football very well, but the team looks good. Uh, my preseason, before the season started, pick was the Chiefs. Let's go to another little ad here. Hold on. Let's see here. Super Bowl trivia. Anyway, um, so it was the Chiefs. I do think overall they're the best team. But since I'm not an analyst, I don't know how good their defense is. I don't know everything that's going on. But I can say this, uh, this is their second Super Bowl in a row. And so they have experience too, which will be a really good benefit. But then again, here's where I'm going to make my deciding factors. Number one is that last year, the Chiefs didn't really look good. And they almost lost to the 49ers. And so uh, they got lucky with some kind of, is it called like a bomb or whatever it's called? to uh, Tyreek Hill, who, of course, I know Tyreek Hill's name because he was in trouble. And I tend to know the football players that are in trouble. And I can't remember what Tyreek Hill was in, for in trouble, but it was definitely an offense that he should not be in the NFL for. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, so they didn't look good last year. So ergo, I'm picking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And for the second reason that I'm never, ever gonna, going to, what do you call it? Um, bet against Tom Brady because he is like basically like near Altuve DNA. I do think that Altuve has more clutch DNA than Tom Brady, but not many people would agree with that. Whatever, if you do or you don't, please leave your comments in there. Please free feel free to say whatever you want on this about James Harden, about the Super Bowl, or about uh, Deshaun Watson. Hopefully, you like this. And uh, anyway. Another video coming soon, and take care.